Good morning, and please stand for the prayer. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Let us pray. Today, Lord, I choose life. I choose your love and the challenge to live it and share it. I choose hope even in moments of darkness. I choose faith, accepting you as Lord and God. I choose to let go of some part of my burdens day by day, handing them over to you. I choose to take hold of your strength and power ever more deeply in my life. May this truly be for me a time of new life, of change, challenge, and growth. May I come to Easter with a heart open to dying with you and rising to your new life day by day. Amen. Mother Francisca Lechner, intercede for us. St. Joseph, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Please recite the mission statement of St. Joseph Hill Academy. Good morning, I'm Erin. And I'm Mariana. And you're watching Hill, Hill TV. TV. Today is day six. There will be a photography club meeting on Tuesday, February 28th in room 331. We will have our picture taken for the yearbook. Fossey will be holding a dine-out at Applebee's on, Mar on March 1st on Wednesday. 20% of your bill will be donated to Fossey. All funds from the dine-out will go to our selected charities. Please note that this is only valid at the Highland Boulevard location. Diners must present a flyer or sh show it on your mobile device in order for Fossey to receive the 20%. Click on the link in the announcement email for the copy of the flyer. The Knitting and Crochet Club will be meeting on Thursday, March 2nd at 3 p.m. in room 223. If you, if you have made any granny squares on your own, please bring them in. Pictures for the yearbook will be taken at this time. And now it's time for HSN. Good morning, Hilltoppers. Welcome back to HSN. I'm your host, Ama, and let's get right into it. This week in Hill Sports, both our JV and varsity teams are heading to the semifinals. On Saturday, both teams played a great game with varsity beating Maria Regina 72-47 to and JV beating Spellman 59-21. to Keep up the great work and good luck in the semifinals tomorrow. Now on to pro sports. This week in pro sports in the NHL, both the Islanders and Rangers have lost this past weekend. The Rangers lost to the Capitals with a score of 3-6, to six, and the Islanders lost to the Kings with a score of 3-2. to two. Luckily for any Devils fans out there, the Devils beat the Flyers with a score of 7-0. to zero. This leaves the Devils in second, the Rangers in third, and the Islanders in fourth. In the NBA, the Knicks beat the Pelicans with a score of 128-106, to 106, and the Wizards with a score of 115 to 109. Unfortunately, the Nets lost to the Bulls with a score of 87 to 131. Now that's embarrassing. I guess Ben Simmons is bringing the Nets down just like his career. After he dated Kendall Jenner, it just all went downhill. And the Nets also traded Kevin Durant a couple weeks ago, which, I mean, he is getting older, but getting rid of him has not really helped them that much. This now leaves the Nets in fifth and the Knicks in sixth. In tennis, multiple tournaments happened this past week in multiple different countries. In France, the Montpellier Open happened where world number 12, 21-year-old Italian tennis player Yannick Sinner dominated over American Maxime Cressy, beating him in straight sets. In the Netherlands, the Rotterdam Open crowned world number 8 Daniil Medvedev as champion, and he also went on to win the Qatar Open this past weekend. The Delray Beach Open also took place where world number seven American Taylor Fritz was crowned victorious. And finally, the last tournament of the week, the Argentinian Open crowned world number two 19-year-old Carlos Alcaraz as winner right after he came back from a muscle injury in his right leg. That has been all for this week in Pro Sports and I'll see you guys next week. Service days. Service Day sign Genius Sign-Up link will close on Friday, March 3rd at 9 p.m. If you have any questions, please reach out to Sister Lissaria. Seniors who have a part at Mass, including the Cantors, 
please be in the convent chapel right after Hill TV. The rest of the seniors, please be in the chapel no later than 8.15. There will be a golf interest meeting Thursday, March 2nd, right after school in the library. All are welcome to attend, both old players and newcomers. Hope to see you there. The Summer Youth Employment Program applications were released on February 13th. SYUP is a six-week job program that takes place on July through mid-August, from July to mid-August, where participants aged 14 to 24 receive paid job placements in a variety of industries. Participants are chosen through a lottery system. Patricia Ventrello, the Community Program Coordinator at United Activities Unlimited for the SYEP program, will be hosting a Zoom meeting today, February 28th at 6 p.m. to review the program details and to answer your questions. The link to the Zoom meeting will be in your announcement email. And now it's time for Tea with Dee and Lee. Hi guys, no, this is that. Tea with Dee and... Where? Where? One last. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Hi guys, welcome to Tea, Tea with, with Dee and Lee. Deanna's a little crippled, so we're going to stick to the cafeteria on fourth floor today. But it is the month of February, so we're going to be doing some Valentine's Day questions. Thank you. We take a special moment to think about Spencer Reed. Matthew Gray Googler. Melinda! <laughs> when you think of Valentine's Day, what song do you think of? Okay, right now... Like the love song that I think of is like Fly Me to the Moon or like That's Amore because I am a murderer. That's Amore. If you could pick any celebrity to be your Valentine, who would it be? Matthew and why? Um, difficult question. Joe Burrow. Oh, any celebrity to be your Valentine? Go. Ethan Kukoski. No one said Matthew. I know that's a basic answer, but my whole TikTok favorite is Joe Burrow. Okay, if you could have any celebrity be your Valentine, who would it be? Ross Lynch. Everyone's a Lucas Scott girl, but I'm Nathan Scott. Okay, okay. Oh. And when you think of Valentine's Day, what song pops in your head? The one that goes like... <laughs> Al, oh, no, it's Al, 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 it's for the way, it's for the way you look at me. Okay, if you could choose any celebrity to be, be your Valentine, who would it be? Justin Bieber or Lucas Scott? Okay, let's love it. I'd love to see it, love to see it. If you could pick any celebrity to be your Valentine, who would it be? Ooh, that's actually a really good question. Side eyeing. Are you side eyeing me? Um. That's hard. Come on, you're on the clock. What? Come on, you're on the clock. Um. I think we could probably. Oh, that's good, but probably Tom Holland. Um, of course. Uh, if you could pick any celebrity to be your Valentine, who would it be? Harry Styles. Okay. Yeah. Or Niall Horan. Okay. Okay, same answer. Oh, Ross Lynch. Oh, yes, oh, yeah. those already. Brunette or blonde look? Ooh. Ross Lynch. Blonde. Blonde. Yeah. Blonde. Okay, wait, rock wait. When you think of Valentine's Day, what song do you think of? I don't know. Maybe like Baby by Justin Bieber? Yes. Uh, Valentine by Five Seconds of Summer. Yes. Great choice. Great choice. Yes. Okay. If you could pick any celebrity to be your Valentine, who would it be and why? Robert Pattinson because he's literally the most attractive man on earth. Have you seen him? There's no explanation either for him. You heard it. She said it all. If you guys could have any celebrity be your Valentine, who would it be? Jack Harlow. <laughs> I like her. He's like Lewis Parcher. Justin Bieber. Okay. Um, I like it. Wait, do you know who Lewis Parcher is? Of course. Is? No. Do you want to do you want to pull it up for the yeah, for the Hill yes, TV? Yeah, do because I have no clue who this is. He was oh. in a novel. Let me see. Oh <laughs> oh let me see. Let me see. Oh, that's beautiful. So that's beautiful. fantastic. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. That's all we have for today. Hope you guys have a great February. It's over. Cut the camera. Bye. The book club will be meeting today after school in room 432. Hope to see you there. Our archery team competed in the Staten Island Archery Edgewater Tournament this past Saturday at CYO. Kate Molesa scored 222 points, ranking 19th out of the 10th grade girls. Mariel Cavendish scored 247, ranking 4th out of the 12th grade girls. Emma Moreau scored 253, ranking 6th out of the 9th grade girls. And Anissa Armand scored 256 points, ranking 9th out of the 11th and 11th grade girls. At the tw and 29th in the overall competition. Congratulations to all of our archers. Today's Hell meeting will be at 3 p.m. in the biology lab. If you haven't already signed up, please use the link below or see Ms. Pla. The Junior Lay Associates will be meeting on Wednesday, March 8th, and will run until about 4.45.
This month, we will be baking cookies with Sister Matilda. Please try and be on time. Remember, you don't have to be a junior to join, and all grades are welcome. Please fill out the Google Doc if you will be attending. We hope to see many of you there. There will be a mandatory lacrosse workout tomorrow from 1.45 to 3, 3 o'clock in, in the lower gym. There will be a golf interest meeting Thursday, March 2nd, right after school in the library. All are welcome to attend. Both old and newcomers are welcome. Hope to see you there. Flag football workout today from 3 o'clock to 4.30 is in the upper gym. Flag football tryouts will be Saturday, March 4th from 10.30 to 12.30 in the lower gym. And second tryout Monday, March 6th from 3.15 to 5.15 in the lower gym. These tryouts are mandatory if you want to be considered for the team. Don't forget to come out and cheer on our basketball team as they play in the semifinals tomorrow. JV plays at 7 at CYO and Varsity plays at 7 at Cardinal Spelman High School. Hope to see you all cheering. Happy birthday on Leap Day to Sophia Lepore. Happy birth Today's famous birthdays are Bernadetta Peters and Robert Sean Le Leonard. Today's national days are National Pancake Day and National Science Day. Everybody better be at the Fosse Dine Out tomorrow. Yes. We get out early so you can go get lunch with your friends. Definitely, that's you what I'm going to do. You can go for dinner with your family. You have to go. Yes, it's going to be Super fun. Super important. Uh, help support our charities this year. Definitely. Um, we hope you enjoy your dinner tomorrow <laughs> and I guess tonight as well. That's all we have for today. I'm Erin. And I'm Mariana. And you just watched Hill, Hill TV. TV. Bye. Bye.